calculate the coefficient of correlation. This is the given table. You can see here x 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In the y column uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and the values they have given here. We need to draw 4 more extra um, columns. So here it will be fx. Next will be x into fx then next will be x square into fx and the last one will be x y f x y ok Here also you should write Fy, y into Fy, y square, Fy, xy, fxy. Now add this 3 plus 4 is 7 and uh, 4 plus 8 plus 7 plus 3 so 10 and here it will be 22 10 20 30 and this will be 33 10 18 19 20 so this will be 23 and this will be 15 okay if you add this you will get 100 now this side add this rows 7 8 9 next if you add this you will get 22 and if you add this so 20 27 and 33 and 8 9 10 and 19 and this will be 31 this is 31 and if you add this you'll get 24 and if you add this you'll get 14 fine now next x into fx here this is x and this is fx 0 into 9 0 into 9 is 0 1 into 22 will be 22 2 into 31 will be 62 3 into 24 uh, 3 4 is a 12 1 3 2 is a 6 72 okay and 4 into 14 is 56 if you add this you will get 212 now here f into fy f is this 0 into 7 will become 7 1 into 22 so it is 22 so this will be 66 this will be 69 and this will be 60 4 into 15 so this is also over and the next column is x square into fx square this 0 square into 9 is again 0 1 square into 22 because fx is this so it is 22 and uh, 2 square into 31 2 square means from here fine now this will be 4 uh, 1 is a 4 4 3 is a 12 fine same way here y is 0 0 square into fy is 7 here so it will be 0 1 square into 22 1 square into 22 will become 22 2 square into 33 so it is 2 square into 33 will become 132 same way in this you will get 207 240 so you will get final answer as a 601 and if you add this you will get 200 and 17 in the last column for the last column 
what you should do is make a cells here. Okay, wherever there are numbers, here there is no number, so you cannot make. So wherever there is a number, fine. Now, since it is x, y, this is x, 0 into 0, okay, uh, into 3. So it is 0. 0 into 1 into 4, it is 0. 0 into 2 into 2, 0. Now 1 into 0 into 4 is 0. 1 into 1 into 8 is 8. 1 into 2 into 8, it is 16. 1 into 3 into 3, so it is 6. 2 into 1 into 7, 14. So uh, 2 into 2 into 12. So 48. Okay. So 2, 3 is a 6. 6, 8 is a 48. 2, 4 is a 8. 8, 4 is a 32. Next. 3 into 1 into 3. So 3, 3 is a 9. 3, 2 is a 6. 6, 8 is a 48. Now next. 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 8 is a 72, 4, 3, 4 is a 12, uh, 12, 5 is a 60, next, 4, 2 is a 8, 8, 3 is a 24, 4, 3 is a 12, 12, 5 is a 60, okay, then next, uh, 6, 4 is a 24, 24 into 4, 16, 1, 4 is 96. Now add this, 0 plus 0 plus 0 will become 0. Now add this, 0 plus 8 plus 16 plus 6. Now add this, 9 plus 48 plus 72 plus 60. So you will get 189. 24 plus 60 plus 96 you will get 180 add all this you will get 541 now last column okay x into y into f of x so add this which is in the cell 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 8 plus 14 plus 9 31 0 plus 16 plus 48 plus 48 plus 24 so it is 136 6 plus 48 plus 72 plus 60 so it will be 186, 32 plus 60 plus 96, you will get 181. So if you add all this, you will get 541. You can see here, here also 541 and here also 541. Both are equal. Now this is the formula of a Carl Pearson coefficient of a correlation. Okay, this n value from the table it is hundred. Summation of summation of x y f of x y is five hundred and forty one. Minus summation of x f of x is two hundred and twelve and this is two hundred and seventeen. Square root of again n value is hundred and x square f x uh, it is five eighty six. Summation of f of x square, so it is 212 square, n is 100 and y square is f of y is 601 minus summation of y, f of y is 217 square. So from the calculator, if you calculate, you will get 0 0.6074. This is your final answer. I hope you understood very well.